Okay, some folks have asked about my chicken coop and how I built it, and so I'll give you a little quick tour about it. I am definitely not a builder, contractor, construction expert at all. I just kind of came up with some ideas after looking at some other stuff on the web and figured out how I wanted it to be, and my big aim was predator-proof. So let me show you what I did and how we made it. The coop's about 32 feet long, about 10 feet wide, and... Uh, I made it out of 4x4 four four posts, 2x6, uh, treated for the outer rim around the top, and uh, plywood sides. And I didn't use as much uh, treated as some do because I was afraid of the chemical outgassing that I don't know what that'll do to the chickens at all over the long haul, but I decided to just paint the outside real good and make sure I keep up with that every year. So used uh, corrugated metal roofing and uh, two two inch uh, wire for the uh, most of the cage wiring itself and down here along the bottom I did make it predator proof or dig proof rather uh, using the uh, small hardware cloth that extends up about two feet on the walls all the way around including underneath the coop area and uh, so this uh, hardware cloth was 48 inches I just folded it in half and wire tied it didn't do a real good job right there got to work on that but that goes all the way around and uh, that seems to work out pretty good and I haven't seen any signs of anything digging but this bottom edge here it's hard to see with all the leaves and crap in it but I'm gonna throw dirt down on that and that should kind of blend in it's already starting to sort of settle in and it won't be an eyesore you plant a couple flowers around it the chickens won't eat them maybe who knows probably will uh, and here I have a separation cage in here so just some old pieces and parts from an old dog kennel we, we found and put in there. So that's about 10 feet by 6 feet or so, and it's got its own perch and doorway. And also, if we had to separate anybody or get some new chickens and keep them quarantined for a while or some uh, young pullets, we'd put them in there. And we can let them out into Gen Pop over here. So uh, let's see what's going on back here. I want to show you the nesting boxes. And uh, don't look behind this thing. We try to hide all our crap anyway. Oh, right here. One of our boys, Nathan, and I built this. And so everything we build, we draw our hands on it because it was our two hands and we're kind of proud of it. You know, it's not beautiful, but it's ours and we did it. So uh, here's the here's the nesting boxes in the back right here. A little pencil right here for marking eggs if I want to notice anything specific. So a little latch right here to keep critters out that have opposable thumbs. And Oh, hey, close the door. Okay, we're out of here in a second. So we got four nesting boxes with this back hatchway right here. Uh, let me show you something around the side here that I still need to work on a little bit. Don't look at my joints, they, they're terrible. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a carpenter. All right, so I know that raccoons and certain animals can climb and actually pull chickens through this wire. I try not to have anything up near where they can climb, but if they did happen to, this piece is still exposed over here because that's the top of the roost bar right there, one of them, and there's always a chicken pressed up right in here, and it wouldn't be a whole lot of effort for something to pull through, and they'll start chewing on a chicken leg or a chicken face. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to put some of that, this kind of hardware cloth right there up into here and just kind of cover this piece over and hope for the best there. So let me show you the inside. Hope this doesn't make you nauseous like a Blair Witch Project thing. I'm not a videographer either. A couple hanging things here. We got our water and we got our food. And we got a couple roosting bars inside. And there's that uh, separation pen. And uh, oh, here I uh, ran the wire way up underneath the metal so that anything that would climb up on top would have a hard time getting through and, and pushing its way in. It's all nailed down and stapled everywhere, so they're not getting in. I got this heavy wire all the way around as, as, uh, as opposed to uh, bird netting because that stuff will deteriorate over time and critters can chew right through that and still get in and kill all your, all your beasts. So I went with bulletproof. Eh, hopefully this thing will outlast me. So, and over here again is the nesting boxes and what we got in here. Not sure who that is. Hey beast, thanks for breakfast. Uh, so we got the four nesting boxes here and then uh, we got this roost bar system right here that 
will hold about, I'm thinking about 30 or 40 chickens, and I never really leave them in here that long, so I'm not too worried about overcrowding. This is really pretty much for night, or if we're out of town. They pretty much run, run around the yard all day long. But I made this right here, this little hook up here, so this thing can actually lift and be hung by the roof right here if I want to get up underneath and do some cleaning or raking or anything in here. So, anyway, there's that corner where I think a chicken get pulled through and get its face eaten off. Hopefully that won't happen before I get a chance to put that wire on there. But anyway, uh, this is my coop. Later.